a low community, big lake, to unify your data lakes and your data warehouses. Google Cloud's VP made a statement concerning Big Lake. It is about open file formats like Parquet. You have open source processing engine like pa Apache Spark, and you have an open lake house architecture. And you will say, hey, I know this. Yes, because I did some videos on Databricks, the Delta Lake and the lake house by Databricks and the data streams on the Delta Lake, and also on Vertex, AutoML, and what a coincidence, Google's Cloud AI also announced a new Vertex AI workbench to bring data and machine learning system into a single interface that enables team to build and deploy ML models. And here now the official Google Cloud documentation concerning Big Lake. They tell you Big Lake is a unified storage engine that simplified data access for data warehouses and data lakes providing some uniform, fine-grained access control across multiple storage and open formats. And they are really, really honest if they tell you fine-grained control, because if you have a look at this, after you create a big lake table, you can query it like your other big query tables. And big query enforces the row and column level access controls so that every user sees only the slice of data that they are authorized to see. So you really can have access control to single slices of data if you have a data frame. Unbelievable. But it's interesting to see that the BigQuery Story API lets users access authorized data using open source query engines such as Apache Spark, and you see here your Google Cloud, your BigQuery Compute, Apache Arrow, Apache Spark, TensorFlow. So maybe it is a good idea if you get familiar with Apache Spark. New Data Cloud Alliance. This is a new initiative to ensure that global businesses, so really the main player, have seamless access and insights into the data and digitally transform everything, of course, entirely new digital businesses, yes. And here we have the reason to meet increasingly complex governance and compliance requirements. And compliance requirement, especially in the European Union, will be really, really important. And if you have a look at the members of this Data Cloud Alliance, not surprisingly, we have Accenture, we have Deloitte, and then, and this is the really nice thing, we have Databricks. And the first commitment we have here from Databricks. Databricks is excited to partner with Google Cloud to foster data sharing based on open standards like the Delta Lake from Databricks. I have a specific video on Delta Lake by Databricks. They are committed to open data sharing and to open data lake house paradigm which empowers the data teams to collaborate more effectively. 